Hello, this is B-Boy Banshee, aka White Boy Fro, teaching you how to do mills. Okay, so you're going to start out in the hand glide position with your hand facing backwards so that you're able to rotate around it before collapsing. Once you get that down and the collapse down, you're going to want to do your first rotation. This is just one rotation of a windmill. Now I know all of you are wondering, okay, how do you do continuous mills? Well, this is how you do it. Once you get on your back, you want to raise your kicking leg in order to get onto your shoulder so that you can re-stab. Watch this video. See how I bring my leg up and that brings me onto my shoulder and then that allows me to have a high stab so that I can collapse well. This is an old video of me. Now this is a low stab. That's when you stab near your hip. That's not good. What you're going to want to be doing is stabbing near your shoulders and that allows you to have a higher stab so that you can collapse easily. Here's what a low stab looks like. And here's what a high stab looks like. Now there are a few things to remember when windmilling. One is to keep your hips up. The way that that can be done is by raising your kicking leg in order to get on your shoulders. And that'll bring you really high and get you a high stab so that you can have a very smooth collapse. When you're doing mills, you're going to want to use your momentum to keep you going. So you want to continuously swing your hips and swing your legs so that you're able to go even faster while windmilling.